Well, cheers. Hey, new Buckaroos. I am Donna Beer Whisperer. If you can hear Delta Moon, Clear Blue Flame, I want to write to Delta Moon. A Delta Moon, Clear Blue Flame. Anyway, easy for me to say, huh? There's my first beer of the day. It is the Imperial Pumpkin Smash from Crown Valley. A stab brew the pumpkin and spices. This is probably one of my very favorites uh, of, of the pumpkin beers. 10.6%, 48 IBUs. Our Imperial Pumpkin Stout is deliciously roasted with dark chocolate and toffee notes with a hint of smoke and a little spice from the hops that give it a pine note. The pumpkin adds body and character for a great beer. Yeah, I think that's a, a, what a lot of folks overlook when they talk about pumpkin beer. So pumpkin itself doesn't add a lot of flavor, but it does add body and character to the beer. A lot of there's a lot of beers out there that have the have pumpkin in the name, but they're they're mostly about the spice. The problem is if you don't have have enough pumpkin, it, it's it's like having a you know an IPA with with not enough malt and too much hops. You know you those that spice has nothing to hang on to and it gets a little cloy. So cheers. So the nose, well, the nose is what you expect. Because of the roasted pumpkin, you really feel the aromatics of it. There's a lot of pumpkin beers that only use pumpkin puree. So you don't get that added dimension that the roasted pumpkin adds to it. This is one of my, I love this song, man, Tom Grace, one of the great unsung songwriters of our time, man. Anyway, that's my personal thoughts on the matter. So yeah, you do feel the roast pumpkin, you do feel the, the pumpkin spice. You feel some cinnamon, um, certainly feel nutmeg, allspice, uh, you might get clove, you might even feel ginger. Ah, uh, it is beautiful. Why this beer works is so many of those other pumpkin beers, again, there's not enough malt, not enough pumpkin, not enough anything for those spices to hang on to. By the time you get halfway through your beer, all you're tasting is spice, and you're not tasting anything else. Here you've got this big, delicious stout that uses the spice the same way you would use the hops, and it just it's right there to hold it all together and keep the beer from getting too sweet and cloying, but it doesn't overtake the beer, and that's why it works. <laughs> Anyways, if you can hear Santana Open Invitation, I don't own the rights to Santana Open Invitation. For some reason, some of the songs are louder than others. This song is one of the best guitar shovels in it of all time, in my particular opinion. Oh, it says this beer is just gorgeous. It is one of the favorites. I don't, I'm kind of, I really don't buy many pumpkins anymore. Uh, pumpkin beers, anyway. But but this is one that I seem to always revisit because it is just delicious. Um, and, and it's, you know, and it's a style. <laughs> I mean, it's got some flavor. It feels like this, you know, this is a beer you ought to be drinking in the fall or winter. It's, it's a big stab. Something with some meat on its bones. And not some mamby pamby hazy fruit loop IPA. <laughs> it's, not, it's not particular hot time. I'm at it. Uh, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. Uh, I, I thought I did a video for this beer when I first bought this four pack and and uh, I either accidentally deleted the video or I accidentally didn't do the video that I thought I did. I don't know which. <laughs> Had a long wait, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Spent hard on an old man this week, man. Anyways, uh, cheers, y'all. Crown Valley out of St. Genevieve, Missouri. They are a very underrated crab brewery, in my opinion. Always wanted to hit their brewery, but I keep missing it. It's not really on the way to anything that's the problem. I mean, you really have to make it to the destination and uh, I'd probably have to, you know, I guess you could just go for the night. I mean, it'd be a long, long, very long day trip. I'd want to spend a week, and I'm not driving that far and only visiting the brewery once. I just ain't doing it. <laughs> That's me, man. 
<laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, I am John Beerus, Burger Vandos, Prolific Beer Drinker, Perver with a Man. Uh, you know, they mentioned the notes of chocolate, um, coffee. Yeah, you, you do feel that. You, all, you also feel some, you know, ro roasted nut notes as well in there in that mix. Like, oh, just, a, just a little drizzle of dark chocolate over. Anyway, uh, one last time, one more time of feeling. I am Todd Beerus, for Burger Angels, prolific for drinker. Where's the man? All right, good guy. Cheers, yo. Remember, folks, life is serious. Beer shouldn't be.